thing is coming from. Is that from the installation? Right, that's part of the installation. That's okay, great. <laughs> There's a flute. I didn't know that's, that was a flute. that's part of. Uh, yeah, I, I've got a lot of people to thank for this strictly being one who did the flute playing, and Mark suggested that, that I include the sound. I'm so glad I did. Uh, it's it's kind of a combination of well, you can see right there. It's it's actually a journey. Um, uh, it's actually a vision journey. It might be one train, one car on the train, Amanda. <laughs> and this is our traveling. And I realized when um, when I talked about our traveling that below, um, you see below the image of all the uh, places is the Bucky map. Because uh, when I pu put all the places that we travel to and do our workshops, it turned out to be on the Bucky map, the shape of an eye. And so that's what inspired the installation, the eye and where we went. And, and it's going to have a def couple of different phases. Um, it's going to be actually also uh, a shamanic part of it, like the, all of these paintings and all of this journey is connected to studying with various shamans. And there's six shamans, and I'm going to be mentioning them in my dream workshop. I mean, my dream talk. But I'm going to be doing the second part of this as to how the shamans connect up to all of this. And it's actually a linking to that sort of shamanic realm. Um, and it's um, going to countries like Peru, Mexico, um, Japan, Bali, India, and the Celtic. And uh, a kind of uh, the journey and the discovery of through doing the projects, the discovery of something deeper, finding the mystic and finding the shaman within. And that's what's about. That's about it. <laughs> Thank you. And Ian, help me. Yeah, Ian is crucial. Can you hear me still? He is crucial to this because really I just had one picture. That's all. He did this. And it's in Sakaya Sun's beautiful uh, radio Lara, which is um, from the last cohort. She created, the, she showed these incredible microscopic images and that's what he put the, uh, put the paintings in and it was, it's brilliant. And uh, I, I just want to thank him and her too for, it's a co-creation. This whole thing is a co-creation. I, I just was facilitating. <laughs> so uh, yeah, thanks everyone so much. Thank you, Della. Thank you, everyone who collaborated with Della. And um, yeah, this concludes our art tour. And I want to just appreciate all the artists who are part of the exhibition. There is much more art to explore. Um, we also added some more pieces. I think Moni's piece is now in there. Um, and definitely, maybe later, whenever Stephen Bow is, is doing his talk, we can explore Stephen's piece as well. But just, um, Della, thank you for continuing to also push the medium that you're in, you know, as a, as a physical artist, you really expanded and explored so much into, into 3D and it's just been a delight. So thank you all. Thank you. thank you. And Amanda, I know you need to go. So thanks so much for being a part of Dissolve and Bloom. Love you so much. Yeah, thanks everybody. This is so inspiring. I just feel so fueled up to see <laughs> and to tap into your work and it's happening. Just remember, it's happening and we're a part of we're a part of this journey of this unfolding and this flourishing and we are needed more than ever. Your visions are needed and your voices and your heart. Thanks, Roxy. Love you all. Thank you, Amanda. Love you. Thank you for encouraging everyone always.